Who's a bunch of hypocrites? Yeah, the cast of And Just Like That. <laughs> I'm Megan Fox with PJMedia.com, and I found an article that you guys have got to hear. You know, we've been talking a lot recently about, um, at least here on this channel, about uh, Cynthia Nixon and her political stuff and how it's affected the show. And in the article that I read yesterday, Cynthia Nixon's uh, interview in, at Vogue, she had a lot to say about income disparity, didn't she? Remember that? She was like, oh, my platform when I ran as governor, it was, you know, to solve the income disparity uh, of New Yorkers. Well, you know what's closer to home than the whole state of New York for Cynthia Nixon? It would be the people who work for her on and just like that. And it looks like there was some income disparity there that was not addressed. Get this. This is some dirt. And just like that, background actor reveals he made less than $200 per day and paparazzi worked with production. Um, so this is interesting. A background actor who worked on Sex and the City spinoff and just like that revealed that he was paid less than $200 for 14 hours of work and dished about how producers worked with photographers who showed up on set. The actor who wanted to remain anonymous said he signed a non-disclosure agreement but could share what kind of money is involved in extra work for a show and just like that. He also said those leaked photos shared during the filming weren't exactly leaked. The actor shared that he made between $150 to $180 per day for background work. You're paid like $160 for 10 hours, he recalled on the Hot Takes and Deep Dives with Jess Rothschild podcast. And then if you go beyond 10 hours, you're paid time and a half. And if you go past 14 hours, then you're paid double time. See all those extras? They were paying them minimum wage while the actors got, you know, $10 million. They got a million dollars per episode. And that's $10 million each. <laughs> Sarah Jessica, Kristen Davis, and the other one, Cynthia Nixon, got $10 million each. But the people that they had on set, you know, all those people that they're so that Cynthia Nixon's so concerned about income disparity. We're making minimum wage. Are they smoking a joint in this picture? <laughs> I think they are. Sarah Ramirez and like these people are st here are uh, having a joint together on the set. They don't want to do that because they have to pay everybody. He continued talking about overtime. Everybody on set crew cast starts getting paid double time. I believe people obviously like Sarah Jessica Parker, Kristen Davis, and Cynthia Nixon are exempt from that because they're just getting paid their million dollars. Yeah. Yep. Darn right. They are. They are also not, uh, they're not distributing that among the, the poor either. Are they? Days were 14 hours long on and just like that. The source said being on the set was a dream, emphasizing he worried he had missed his opportunity after the second sex in the movie film movie was filmed. He had also worked as a background actor on the marvelous Mrs. Maisel too. I think it was 14 hour days for Mrs. Maisel and just like that, he recalled. Um, your call time is super early. Most of the day that I shot, we were shooting during the daytime. None of the stuff I did for Anne just like that shot on a soundstage. It's shot in real locations throughout New York. I did four scenes and it's all shot completely out of sequence. I guess it's dependent on people's availability, but it's completely out of order. The first scene I believe was something for episode three. And then the scene I shot was a two day shoot. And that was from the season premiere, the very first episode. You get there super early. Your call time is usually like 7 or 7.30 a.m. for background work, he recalled. You have to go to wardrobe and you're asked to bring wardrobe items. He also observed how producers worked with photographers to create groundswell around the series. Yeah, <laughs> this is this is where they fake the press. Like we've been talking about also spotting the fake news. This is part of it. So they call the paparazzi and they set up the shots and then they, the paparazzi gets to sell those photos to people magazine or whatever. And, um, it's all, it's all a scam. This is also why photos were continuously leaked during filming. The paparazzi, I don't know if people know this, but the paparazzi, they have like a relationship with the production departments now where they're just allowed to come on set and photograph. He said, mm-hmm. And then they show Carrie in her classic, classic 
uh, smoking outfit, which is neither classic uh, nor a smoking outfit. It's just tragic. It's just fucking tragic. Like the production people just allowed them to be on the street when we were shooting and just like that, he continued. On the street, the paparazzi are just standing right there like they felt it's a covert thing and they're trying to sneak the pictures. They literally are right next to the camera sometimes. I guess production knows from a publicity standpoint that they want the publicity. Yeah, not only do they want it, they set it up. They set it up. So, yeah. So that's that. I thought you would appreciate that. And um, that's all for me. So like and subscribe. Let me know in the comments below what you thought about the income disparity between the low paid nobodies on the set and the high paid actresses. And how do you feel about Cynthia Nixon going into Vogue and complaining about income disparity when she knows darn well that they're paying the actors on the set minimum wage while she's getting 10 freaking million dollars? Like, how is that? How is how does that work? Look at all these poor people in this terrible LGBTQAI plus plus hashtag ampersand sign uh, protest feel about getting paid fifteen dollars an hour or less when Cynthia Nixon is getting ten million bucks. See, that's the thing with socialists like Cynthia Nixon. They talk a good game about income disparity and equalizing payments, but they don't actually live that way. She lives in a Manhattan mansion and she's paying the people who work for her minimum wage. What do you think about that? Let me know in the comments below. I know what I think about it. I think it's absolute garbage. Like and subscribe. Talk to you soon.